In the last few years something changed. We became slaves to the digital world. Through the endless scrolling and infinite feeds of social media, our attention span shrunk heavily and we became puppets to corporations and their products. And now the new currency is our attention. According to Timothy Wilson, our brain receives roughly 11 million bits of information in the shape of experiences each second, but we can only process 40 of them. In Hyperfocus by Chris Bailey, he calls this concept the attentional space. It's our brain's capacity to focus on the things we do. Like if you are fully engaged in this video, you have no attentional space left to focus on your surroundings. Our brain is programmed to focus, but we can't always control it. Just like when we unconsciously blink at the end of a sentence while reading, or when there's a break in a video, or when your friend buzzes in a conversation. So in this video, I will show you how to control your attention. Chris Bailey divided work into four groups according to this graph. The unattractive but productive tasks are called the necessary tasks. We don't like doing them but we have to because they produce some kind of an impact on our life. But the unattractive and unproductive tasks are called unnecessary tasks. Like rearranging your desk, we mostly do them just to waste time or to avoid doing necessary tasks. The attractive but unproductive tasks are called distracting work. We like doing them and we often fall into them really quick. Like social media or TikTok or video games, Chris Bailey gave it a name, he called it the black hole. Because once you're immersed into it, time goes faster like this. The last one is what Chris Bailey calls the sweet spot, it's purposeful work, the productive and attractive work, providing us with the greatest impact on our life. On average, each person has four of these tasks to give his full attention to. We have two tasks in this manner, habits and complex tasks. Habits don't take much of our attentional space because they are like, like a routine. On the opposite, complex tasks require us to pay full attention to what we do so we can do it the right way. For example, you could run while breathing and listening to music at the same time, but you can drive and read a book at the same time because they both require a huge amount of room in your attentional space. But you can drive while listening to music. So what I'm getting at is you can do habits alongside complex work, but you can't do two complex tasks at the same time while maintaining a good amount of attention for both. In the book, Chris Billy also talked about a concept called chunking. On average, we can only remember or focus on four things. So to memorize things, we should group them into four chunks so we can remember them easier. Chris Bailey conducted a really good test. He showed a list of names to a random number of people and they should try and memorize and then write down those names on a piece of paper. Some people got three, some people got five, some people got six, but the average was four. So Timothy Wilson was right. We, on average, can remember or focus on four things. So if you have a lot to study, if you have a lot to memorize, try and group them into four chunks and it will be easier for you to remember them in the exam or in the representation or something. Also, don't overload your attentional space. For example, when you go somewhere and then suddenly you forget why you went there, you just stand there confused. That's because you have so much in your attentional space that there is no room left for you to remember why you went there. The way our brain works is that it can hold two things while paying attention. The things we do now and the things we intend to do. By making your intention clear, you are able to focus more and do tasks better. So to fix that, overload problem, select the things you permit into your attentional space. Of course, Chris Bailey's book provides more in-depth information about this topic and other more topics about focus, concentration, or paying attention, so make sure to give it a read. Thank you so much for watching this video and remember, productivity is finishing the task, not how long it took.